Hi, this is Alon of the Sidefinity SDK team. In this short video, I will demonstrate Site Sync in Multi-Site Mode, a feature which was introduced in Sidefinity as of version 8.0. I have two instances of Sidefinity running uh, in order to perform a synchronization of data between them. One which I'll use as the source, this one, and the other I'll use as destination, this one with different port. First, a few trivial prerequisites to note. The first is that the two modules that this feature relies on, which should be enabled on both instances. So under administration, go to modules and services. And I'll scroll down and make sure that multi-site as well as staging and syncing modules are installed and activated on both Sitefinity instances. Next, we'll need to make sure that there is a synchronization configured between both instances. So under global settings, I'll go up and here I can reach global settings. I'll go to staging and syncing. This is my source site. I should have the address and port and user and password to be used of the destination instance and the destination instance under global settings, staging and syncing should be enabled to receive data from other sites. It would also be good to have a dedicated admin user here. I've declared one, uh, which will be used uh, for, the sync, for the sync process. An important note is that all this needs to be set up before you start making any changes on the source Sitefinity instance, including creating or modifying multi-site sites in Sitefinity. The syncing mechanism starts collecting data once it's activated and not retroactively beforehand. So first set everything up and then start making your changes ready to be synchronized to the destination site or sites. Now, before we run the synchronization on my source instance, let's explore the content that I have. So under content, I'll go to news. In site one, I've created news items for hipster ipsum and bacon ipsum. And on site two, I have a few more ipsums, some veggie ipsum, gangster ipsum, and some hodor. Also note that on site two, I have two content languages, English and Mapondigan, which is a language used in Chile and South America. Now back to site one, I also have a content under images. I have an image library with a few images in it. But if I go to site two, we'll see that it has its own library image, but it's also using images from site one since they are sharing the same provider. This is configured under manage sites. In site two, I'll go to configure modules and under libraries, I can see that it's actually using library providers for, from site one and site two. Now to the synchronization process itself. I'll go back and under administration, I'll go to staging and syncing. First thing I get here, which is new, is a grid showing me all the sites I have on my current instance. I can see all three sites and I can see the items that are waiting to be synced on each of the sites. I can choose to synchronize data from all sites by clicking sync all sites button, or I can click specific sites by checking their checkbox next to them and then clicking sync selected sites. One more option that I have is to click a specific site from the grid, and then I'm redirected to the content selection options list. Just as with regular uh, syncing, I have the option here to test the connection with the destination server and see that everything works fine. And down here, I have the list with uh, checkboxes, um, which allows me to choose which data I would like to sync to the destination. One option that I have here, since I've selected a specific site, I have on the list an option to select sites to sync. That means that the site with all its settings, with all its settings should be synchronized uh, with the destination. Next, I have content items, in which case I can see my news items here. I can either check to synchronize all of them or change that by clicking the change button. And then I can choose to synchronize items by specific language or select items from a list if I want only specific ones to be uh, synchronized.
Under image libraries, I also see that I have some data to be synchronized. So I can click that. And I also have images that I can synchronize to the other site. Note again that since site number two is using content uh, for images uh, from both sites, both will be synchronized. So I can choose to synchronize. Of course, I can change that by selecting which image libraries I would like to sync. So I have here both, but both will appear here because they're not restricted only to site one. Site one memes library is used on both sites. That means that there is a shared provider. In fact, synchronization is being done by providers. And when you create sites, you assign providers to be used for data uh, content items for them. So in this case, I can, of course, narrow down my selection for libraries and images if I want to. Uh, otherwise, I'm getting here a list of, of coming from actually from both sites since they share the providers between them. So once I've selected items I want to synchronize, I'll go down and click Sync Now or Schedule a Sync if I want to do this later. So let's do Sync Now. I'm getting here a warning that some of the items might have related items that will have to get synced implicitly as well. That is, if I have items which are being synced, uh, I will also need to sync this, their related site. Otherwise, I may not be able to access them uh, once the sync is complete. So I'll have to say OK to this warning. Now the sync is taking place. The sync is complete. I can see that we have all the items synced. We have one site which I've selected to sync, image libraries, images from both um, libraries which come from both providers, which in fact come from both sites, but this is because I've chosen to share providers between the sites beforehand, and my news items which are specific for the current site. So let's go to the destination site and refresh it. So now if I expand the site selector, I can see that I have source site 2, which was synced from my source instance. Let's go to content and news. You can see that all the new items have been uh, synchronized, including the languages. Um, I have the veggie ipsum item, which exists in both languages. So I've got those both synced. And under content and images, you can see that I have both providers synchronized as well as their uh, images created in them. By the way, the fact that I have here the default library appearing is the since when library providers get initialized inside Trinity, the default library is automatically being created. Um, and since I've deleted the default library in the uh, source instance before I uh, started collecting changes for synchronization, this default library will not get deleted. It will just appear in the list here and it will be usable on the destination site. So this was a quick demo of site sync in multi-site mode, um, which was introduced in Sitefinity version 8.0. Thank you for watching.